Linux had long had live kernel patching since Kspli's days. Unfortunately, this is only a, a, an option for paying Oracle customers. For the rest of us, Red Hat is working on a new technology called Kpatch. Let's check it out. So let's test this by logging into the system as user builder and compiling an exploit which triggers a security vulnerability in the Linux TDY uh, kernel structure. Once this, uh, this, this exploit is now running and once it is uh, successful, the denial of service attack will, be, uh, will succeed, which means that a non-privileged user, such as Builder, in this case, is able to compromise productivity on the server and force the server admin to reboot the machine. I'm slightly speeding up the uh, the session here so that we get the uh, the kernel crash uh, fairly quickly. So the system now has to be rebooted. We uh, log into the system again as the user builder, and uh, let's try to fix the issue. I'm gonna simply split the tmux window. Uh, login as root on the right hand side and uh, let's view the uh, the patch that's gonna fix this security issue this is an upstream patch that's already merged in the Linux kernel tree let's uh, let's build our patch so how, how how this works is you run a tool called kpatch build uh, referencing the kernel version and this proceeds to to build the patch so the way this works internally is that it compiles a complete kernel with, uh, without the patch and then compiles another one with the patch applied and then runs some sort of a diff uh, between the resulting binary objects. And from that diff, uh, the, 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 you know, the changing uh, binary objects due to the patch are extracted and then those are uh, created or injected into the... Uh, the kernel, the binary kernel patch. So it's uh, it's quite some sophisticated piece of technology. Um, so as you can see, it's uh, it's already uh, building the original kernel. It has built the patched kernel, and it's now extracting the differences, and it has been successful. So the resulting uh, file kpatch all is simply a kernel module which we can load it right now. Once loaded, the security issue is actually fixed, and we can verify with kpatch list. Let's run the security issue again and verify it has been fixed. So as you can see, I've been letting this um, this exploit running for quite some time, and uh, the security issue is is not really uh, happening again. So it has been fixed. So this was a quick overview of the new uh, K patch technology. Hope you liked the video, and till next time.